once at La Scala in Pirata in the Mad Sea. When I came to the words, Il Palco Funesto, the fatal scaffold, I pointed to the general manager in his box, the same man who had said my services at his theater were no longer necessary, and hurled the words right at him. I don't know what came over me. I was possessed like a fury. And I went down to the stage apron, just meters from where he was sitting, and I sang, Il Palco Funesto. The audience gasped. Gearing Gelly reeled from the force of it. They say it was the greatest ovation in the history of La Scala. He ordered them to ring down the fire curtain to stop my applause. <laughs> Why deal with someone like me when you can have Tebaldi or Sutherland or Sills? I don't blame them. I did. But I don't know. What's your name, eh? You'll have to speak up, darling. You're on the stage now. People are listening, hundreds and hundreds of people. They want to know who you are. Don't disappoint them. God gave you a voice, use it. Sophie de Palma! Brava! <laughs> See how easy that was. <laughs> Sophie de Palma. It's not an ideal name for a career. <laughs> but it's good enough. I, I can see it outside a theatre. Sophie de Palma as uh, what? Sophie de Palma as Frasquita in Carmen. Sophie de Palma as uh, the third norn in Gotta <laughs> Italian? Greek Italian. Po po po. <laughs> my teacher says that accounts for my temperament. <coughs> I'm very fiery. <laughs> Are you? <laughs> That's what my teacher says. I was uh, making a little joke. I don't believe you can be a great artist without temperament. Neither does she. We're working on it. <laughs> Everyone says that you had, I mean, have great temperament. I'm hoping to get some from you, frankly. Am I saying the wrong thing? <laughs> Do something fiery. Well, I can't. Not just like that. <laughs> no one can. Where is my footstool? Well, I guess some people can. <laughs> 10 a.m. on a beautiful spring morning, you made love all night to Floria Tosca, the most beautiful woman in Rome. And now you are painting another woman, unobserved, as she prays to the Blessed Mother. They're both beautiful, but it's Tosca's body against yours you feel. Now sing. It doesn't say anything about 10 a.m. or springtime or Tosca's body in the score. It should say it in your imagination. Otherwise, you have notes. Nothing but notes. Sing. On the breath, on the breath. singing about your mistress look happy <laughs>
You're the student here, not I. And see how important the prop is. You hardly looked at the letter. She has it memorized. She's read it over and over and over. My choice, not Verdi's, not Shakespeare's colors. You think you can do that now? Not like you. I don't want it done like me. I want it done like Verdi. With music? Yes, with music. This isn't a play. Shit! 